Thank you, Jason. Well, in less than two hours, state lawmakers will release a report about sexual harassment policies at our Colorado State Capitol. The reports come after one lawmaker was expelled in March and another survived a vote to oust him. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live at the Capitol this morning. And Megan, we've been waiting a while for this independent report. That's right. The people that have been calling for this report, that have been pushing for this report, they say enough is enough. They believe that there is a toxic culture in this building that you see behind me. And they say the first part of fixing any problem is going to be recognizing that you have a problem in the first place. So this report aims to do just that, to figure out whether or not there is a problem with the policies that are in place in the state capitol with those sexual harassment policies and also taking a look at how they stack up against against other states, for instance. They're going to be taking feedback from a variety of different interested parties to make a recommendation to us as to how we change our policy and make sure that it is one where everybody feels as though they can come forward if there is something that has been challenging that has happened to them. So already this week, we've seen sexual harassment dominate the conversation when the Senate discussed allegations against Randy Baumgartner. A vote to expel him ended in a tie, and he was allowed to keep his job. Last month, though, Representative Steve Lebsock, he was kicked out for his alleged inappropriate behavior. So this report by this independent group, it did not come cheap. It has a price tag of about $120,000. We were supposed to get a copy of it yesterday. It was delayed to today at 8 a.m. State lawmakers already have a copy of it, and you can count on Denver 7 to delve through all of the details and bring you a wrap-up. I'm live in front of the state capitol, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.